Hey all, Jack here, and today I'm going to be going through getting Instagram shopping set up on your profile. Instagram can be a notoriously difficult platform to drive traffic to your website, considering that they only offer most profiles a single link in their bio. This has all changed for e-commerce stores, since they introduced product tagging features that integrate with the Facebook catalogue and link straight through to your product pages on your website. I'm going to show you how you can apply and start tagging products in Instagram. Before I do, you will have needed to have set up your Facebook catalogue. You can find out how to do so by clicking here or by visiting the link in the description. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is set up your Instagram as a professional account if you haven't done so already. To do this, tap the three lines in the top left corner and tap settings. From this menu, you'll then need to select account. Then at the bottom here, hit switch to professional account. If you've already done this step, you'll have the option to switch back to a personal account instead. On this page, select business and now you can start setting up. Hit continue on this next page. You then need to select a category that best describes your business. Some categories won't be applicable for Instagram shopping. We recommend making sure you're familiar with Instagram's commerce policies and using the shopping and retail category where possible. Next, you need to review your contact info. If you don't want to use your contact info, you can click the link underneath the button, but be aware, this could potentially affect your chances of being approved for Instagram shopping. Having up-to-date and available contact information could be beneficial to your application. Finally, you'll need to connect your Facebook page to your Instagram to create your professional account. Hit next when you're done. Now that that's done, your Instagram profile will have now been switched to a professional account. This means you'll now have access to more advanced insights as well as a number of other new features that weren't previously accessible. It also means that you can now apply for Instagram shopping through your profile. Let's set that up now. Tap the three lines in the top left and go to settings again. You'll then want to select business from this menu. At the bottom here, you have an option to set up Instagram shopping. Tap this option. You can now start the process. Instagram just needs a few more details from you before they'll review your account. Make sure that the Facebook page you would like to use in conjunction with Instagram shopping is selected and hit next. You should be able to see the Facebook catalogue that you created earlier here. Make sure the catalogue you would like to use is selected and tap next. Lastly, you should make sure that the domain you've connected to your catalogue is correct here and then hit next. Instagram will prompt you one last time to review their commerce requirements and agreements. Once you're happy, select submit for review. Instagram will now start reviewing your account. This usually takes around a week to do before you can start tagging your products. Instagram will notify you as soon as they've reviewed your profile for access to tagging features. We recommend in the time that you're waiting to keep up activity on your profile by posting, liking and engaging with your audience. This signals to Instagram that you have a consistent presence on their platform. If you haven't been approved first time around, don't worry. Make sure to go over Instagram's commerce policy to make sure everything's in line with their rules and you can appeal for them to re-review your profile by clicking the notification. You'll find a link to the commerce policy in the description below. When you have been approved, here's how you can start setting up your posts and stories for Instagram shopping. Once approved for Instagram shopping, you'll probably want to head back through your existing posts and tag products from your catalogue in them. This is straightforward to do. First, find the post you'd like to tag a product in. Then tap the ellipsis in the top right of the post. From this menu, select Edit. Now you can add your tag. To do this, tap the Tag button in the bottom left of the image. Then select Tag Products. To place your tag, tap anywhere on your image. You'll then need to search for your product from your catalogue using the search bar at the top. When you've found it, select either of the options that have appeared. Your tag will have now been added and you can drag it to position it wherever you'd like. When you're happy, select Done in the top right. 
then tap done again to save your changes and leave the editor. Your tag will then be live on your profile, possibly pending review, which may only take a day or two. Now, whenever anyone taps view products in the bottom left, they'll be able to view your product and your catalog. They can also tap the image to open the tag and find out more about your product. For any new posts that you put up on Instagram, the process is very similar to how we've just set up tags on existing posts. Go to add a post as normal. Now you'll have an option underneath your caption space that will allow you to tag products. Tap that button. Then you have to go through the same motions again. Tap anywhere on the image, search for your product, select it from the options, and then save your changes. Bear in mind, you can tag up to five products in a single image post and up to 20 products in a multiple image post. And again, you can see that your audience can then view your products in exactly the same way as before. There's one more place you can start tagging your products and that's in your Instagram stories, where you can add shopping stickers to any of your features for a limited time. To do this, you can upload or take any picture to add to your story, or you can share one of your posts. I'll demonstrate using an existing post. Tap the share button on your post, then hit add post to your story. You can then adjust your post to how you would like it to appear on your story. To add shopping stickers, hit the smiley square icon along the top. This will bring up the library of options you can add to the post. If you scroll down, you'll find a product sticker featuring a little shopping bag. Tap on this sticker. Once again, search for your featured product from your catalogue and select it. You can then drag this into position or change the name to display something else if you'd wish. When you're done, hit send to in the bottom right and then select the option to share to your story. Hit done at the bottom when you've done this. Your post will have now been added to your story. You can preview this by tapping your profile picture. This will stay on your profile for one day before disappearing. We've covered a lot of ground in this video today. Hopefully you now have the tools and information you need to start driving more traffic through to your website from Instagram. To stay up to date with our future videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if this has been useful to you, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button while you're down there as well. Thanks for watching.